everyone, this is Mary over here at Images on the Page, and today I'm going to come to you with um, something I saw Emma over at Drinking by My Shelf do, as well as Sam on Thoughts on Tomes. Emma at Drinking by My Shelf was the one who really inspired me because Thoughts on Tomes did more her... Hey everyone, this is Mary over here at Images on the Page, and today I'm going to be doing Trash My TBR. Now, I saw Sam at Thoughts on Tomes do this, as well as um, Emma at Drinking by My Shelf, uh, who really inspired me to do this. Thoughts on Tomes did more of her physical, hardbound, what she had on her shelves TBR um, to trash, while Emma um, over at Drinking by My Shelf did more of her Goodreads TBR, which I thought was really smart considering I'm constantly adding books to my Goodreads TBR and I rarely read the books on my Goodreads TBR. Let me look. I want to see how many I have. I have 285 books on my to read or want to read shelf at Goodreads. That's a lot of books, and some of these I don't know that I even remember putting on here. I do have my um, Goodreads TBR kind of split up in just two sections, so I've already kind of done this, but one is my definitely want to read TBR, which only has 54 books on them. The other one is just my general want to read, which are books I'm interested in, but I don't want to highly prioritize. That has 231. Those are the books that I'm going to be asking you to trash. So I'm just going to go through the couple of the ones that I first added when I started Goodreads, which was back in like 2011. I didn't know I was on Goodreads that long. It is now 2019. So I'm doing them by the date I added them. Okay, the first one is The Name, the Name of the Wind by Patrick Rothfuss. I can already guess I'm not going to want you guys to trash this because I do actually really want to read this. I was just, last year was not a fantasy year for me, so I didn't read it. Um, I just saw actually I had my physical TBR, um, so we're going to skip that one. The next one is The Shadow of the Wind by Carlos Ruiz Zafran. What is this even about? I added it on April 2nd in 2011. I feel like those dates are wrong. Well, it's a book in translation, which is interesting. I have not read many of those. I was gonna say if any, but I have read some for college. The international literary sensation about a boy's quest through the secrets and shadows of post-war Barcelona for a mysterious author whose book has proved as dangerous to own as it is impossible to forget. Okay, so it's kind of historical, which I feel like I added this recently though. Could I have, well, that's weird. Well, let me know what you think if you've read that because I don't know how I feel about that one anymore. The next one is called Inher Inheritance by Lissa Casey. There's a sexy man on the cover. Interesting. As the only male studying magic in a female dominant society, Shirin Rose, Life is already on a precarious perch. When he finds a dead co-worker on his doorstep in the Shay realizes something and Shay realizes someone is trying to set him up for the fall. It could be anyone, including his own mother, a powerful witch and leader of the Dominion, the ruling body of an elemental magic. Interesting. His only saving graces are his on again, off again vampire boyfriend Gabe and the mysterious Jamie, who wants to help him for reasons Shay doesn't understand. They may be all that stand between Shay and the Dominion's demands to control his magic. Interesting. So, possibly... Polyamorous? Although it is an urban fantasy, which I don't know how I feel about. But it's queer. Don't think its own voices, though. Let me know what you think of that one. These are all, are these all fantasy? The next one we're gonna do is, interesting name, The Violet and the Tom by Eve Octilio. Okay, so it's about slavery, alternate universe history. 
could be interesting. I mean, it kind of has the sounds of um, The Princess Gambit by P.S. Nope. C.S. Picot. So that could be in its favor. It's got a 3.8 rating on Goodreads. I'm actually going to just get rid of that one. There we go. Remove from my books. Next one is... How many have I done? Is this only the third one? I think maybe I'll only do five. Because I don't know how long this video is going to be. The next one is Beyond Duty by S. S. J. D. Peterson. I have actually read something else by S. J. Peterson. I think it was called Splintered. It was kind of a mystery novel. It was really good. Okay. So this is kind of about before Don't Ask to Tell was kind of abolished. And it's this guy's love for his partner and how they deal with being a couple out of the military now. Really sounds like something I'd like. Um, has a 3.99, so pretty good on Goodreads. Almost a four. So let me know what you guys think. And the last one I'm going to do is called The Magpie Lord by K.J. Charles. This one was added July 9th, 2013. So still a while ago. Apparently I've completely forgotten it. I've actually heard, I look at a lot of Goodreads list with fantasy male male characters or couples so this I think pops up a lot it's got a 4.1 goodreads rating okay this kind of sounds like a hate to lover enemies to lovers type story it's about this lord who was um sent away I'm assuming by his dad it says exiled to China but he is forced to come back to England um, to deal with things that have been going on in his family's inheritance. And he needs the help of a magician. And this magician, like, hates his family. And it's, like, them having to work together. That one sounds pretty interesting. Not gonna lie. Well, let me know what you think about that one. I am very interested. If you think I should definitely ignore them. Please let me know because I'm going to only have so much time and I would love to read books that are good books. Well, until the next time, ta-ta for now.